Hello everyone, welcome to Weed Shop 3. This is going to be my guide on getting started and we're just going to mostly go over the early and mid game stuff and I'll leave the end game stuff to another video, mainly just because I'm not there yet. I've put around 30 hours in the game so far and I'm level 48 and there's not really a lot of information on this game so I just wanted to make a clear and concise guide. So let's go ahead and get into it. So when you first start out, the most important thing is trying to be as efficient with your money as possible. So if you go to trash cans on the boardwalk, you can sometimes find blunts, joints, or doobies. You can also find cash. You can see they're pretty much at every one of these trash cans all down this boardwalk. Um, you could even go down that boardwalk down there, as you can see, and there's trash cans there. And also there's a spot over there that you can go. Now, very early in the game, you can run over here to this like uh, gym type place, like an outside gym, like Muscle Beach. And I don't have the guy anymore. There would be a dude over here doing setups and you can talk to him and buy, um, I think you can buy doobies and you can buy joints from him to give to customers if you don't want to make them early game. So he'll be right here. Um, and it's really important that you talk to him and he'll help you get some, you know, crappy doobies or joints if you need it but honestly you can go around these trash cans and just look and you usually will find them so before we go inside there's three different types there's actually four different types of customers uh, let me get away from the shop so I can show you there's burnouts which they kind of look like crackheads um, that's going to be your lowest tier of uh, NPC so you can give them any sort of crappy doobies like uh, this one right here this would work on them but let's say for instance if I talk to this uh, let's see is this guy a burnout they're all burnouts I didn't know if I can find someone that's not a burnout this is an influencer let's see this dude this dude's a local no he's a tourist okay so if you speak to the tourists they're right above burnouts so the hierarchy goes burnouts is the worst then tourist then local and then influencer and pretty much your tourist is going to give you more money than the burnouts. And then your locals is going to give more money than the tourist. And then influencers are going to give the most money. So tourists will only accept joints or higher. So you can give them a joint. You can give them a, a blunt. But I would probably give them joints for a tourist. If you can find a local, they will only take blunts. So just keep that in mind. And what I mean by that is you can actually sell to people on the street and kind of get them in your store if you're brand new. So I'll show you how you can do that. I actually have someone hired to do it for me. But when you're just starting the game, you'll go find a burnout, talk to them. You have to offer them a free sample. And this is a burnout, so I'm going to give them a doobie. Sometimes they will buy from you. So You can say, Z, I have more stuff. And then you can sell them whatever strain that you want. So early queen. And then you can even negotiate. So this is the percent chance you have to sell to this person. So I usually try to stay above 80%. And he didn't like that, so he's going to walk away and you can't interact with them. But sometimes they'll accept it. I'll show you what happens when they accept it. So this is a tourist, so he needs a joint. And I'm going to sell it to him with 100% chance. And as you can see there... He is satisfied and you can actually bring them into your shop if you want you can give them a free sample like this and give them like a doobie and then say drop by my shop and they'll just walk in there and go to your shop if you don't really want to negotiate with them uh, another thing I want to show you let me show it with this person the green kind of like I guess it's an arrow is how much they've bought from you pretty much so the higher that percent, the most likely they are to make a deal with you if you offer them something free and then try to upcharge them. So you definitely want to try to be making transactions and getting the green up. Uh, the yellow thumbs up is just their satisfaction with you. Pretty much any time that you sell to them and they buy from you, you'll get the thumbs up. And then the red is the addiction level. The higher the red the more likely they are to come to your shop. And if I'm not mistaken, they might actually buy more from you at a time if that's high. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, the keys one will show you how much weed that you have in stock. 
If you hit the number two, it will show you uh, how many different seeds that you have. If you hit the number three, it'll show you how much merchandise you have. And if you hit the number four, it'll show you extractions or like vapes and stuff, which I don't have unlocked. So that's some cool key bonds that you can see to check your inventory at any time that you want. So your shop obviously isn't going to look like this. You're going to have like one little counter in the middle and you'll probably have to work it, you know, just starting out. But if you come into the back, you're probably just going to be having pots to start out with. You'll start with a paint bucket and uh, you can definitely, you know, plant things in that and it'll be fine. But later on, you can get these setups and I will show you on the computer, which the first setup you'll get. Um, if you go to the equipment tab and then setups. The first thing you'll get is a small ghetto setup. And essentially what you can do with these setups is you have to buy components for them. So you can see you have to buy water, lights, and ventilation. And what that'll do is just make it easier for you to manage whatever you're planting. So for instance, in this setup, the large setup, if I click on it and hit Z, I can plant 10 seeds at a time because there's 10 pots. If I just had one pot, I can only plant one at a time. Also, when these do need water, you can just click on the setup as long as your water um, setup isn't broken down there at the bottom left. You see it's 83%. These do break. So if that was at zero, I couldn't water it this way. I'd have to go to each individual pot. And the uh, ventilation and lights just help grow things faster. Um, the ventilation helps prevent, like, um, mites and things like that, like mold uh, that you'll get if you're not playing in chill mode. I'll get into that later, but it's just better to have this set up because it's easier to manage. But you can definitely just start using pots to start out with. Um, that's not really a big problem. And I want to show you this computer now since we're here. And you're probably going to spend a lot of time in the dope market. So this is where you can get your seeds. You can get your supplies. Now, early game, you can actually get boosts. I don't recommend getting these early game. I would rather you just spend your money on getting more pots and growing your stock that way. Because you can just have a shit ton of them at the beginning of the game. And then eventually you'll get like your setups and things. But really, we're not going to focus too much into this. It's pretty self-explanatory. So this mission control, you want to make sure you're doing these missions. They will reward you um, XP and cash usually. And sometimes you'll get like another reward. Um, like this one will give me three joint packs. It's pretty cool. So definitely be trying to do the missions as much as you can early game. That way that you can rank up and unlock new things. The pimp it is where you can upgrade your shop. And... Over here, you can see the target audience. So the base popularity for me is 53%. You can raise that by upgrading your shop. Or you can also put in certain decorations that give this boost. And then here, targeting burnouts. This also has to do with decorations, but also you can see uh, certain shops do give a bonus to certain things. Like right now, I have the large shop. And I can have nine customers at a time and it's targeting locals. So that gives me 10% on this locals here. Um, and then this one be targeting tourists. So that kind of lets you know what your target audience is. And influencers pay the most, then locals, then tourists, then burnouts. Just remember that. And uh, you can also, you know, upgrade your walls and they have certain buffs as well. You can do the same thing with your floors and they'll have certain buffs as well. And the exterior wall as well. And then, of course, same thing for the grow room. You can do the walls, the floors. Uh, this is extra storage area, which I don't have yet. But you can also add this in later. Um, and this will be for your shop sign. It comes with buffs. Doorbell. I use quiet mode. But if you want to hear when people come in, you can buy the other ones here. And this is just curtains. It's mostly aesthetic. We close that and this doer is where you're going to hire employees. Now for me, I'm playing in chill mode right now because this was my first playthrough. Um, so I have two people that are sales staff and that's this one here. So they can man the registers. I have Randy Bobandy. 
Um, and he is promoting my shop to locals. Um, this is burnouts and this is tourist. This is locals. This is influencers. And then I have Jerry main, which is actually planting my crops for me. So they're kind of doing that. And you can also have someone to manage your merchandise. If you want, I'll show you that later. And you can also have someone down here. This is for a security guard. Now, if you're playing on any other mode other than chill mode, You'll probably want to hire a security guard around level 10 because you start getting, um, I think they're called pests or something like that, degenerates. You'll have the snitch at level 10, you'll have the crackhead, and then you'll have the rival dealer. Um, pretty much just you want to buy this at level 10 just to be safe. We go to dump your junk. Pretty much you can sell stuff here that you don't want anymore. Like I could sell this one pump that I have and I get money. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this Sellify, you want to be looking at very often because this is your service rating for your shop. And I actually need to stock in some things um, like smokes and paraphernalia. So weed variety will give you a boost of 20%. 20% is the max boost that you can have. And I believe for weed variety, you need at least seven different um, seeds of weed available to sell in your shop. So I have 12, but I'm capped down at 20. If you had seven, you'd be capped down at 20. I think for smokes, you have to have four different types of smokes. So that would be like uh, joints, blunts, doobies, cross joints, things like that. We'll up that service rating. Paraphernalia is your merch that you have out. Um, so like bongs and grinders, you need to have at least seven of those, I think, to get the 20% buff. I actually haven't unlocked the extracts or the vapes. I just got to that part. Um, but that's going to be late game stuff. So you can't really do that until late game, but those would also give you a boost. And then average discount and 10% off of more. This would cap out at 20% as well. So service rating, I think, um, is how much people will spend per gram at your shop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you want to try to keep this as high as you can. Obviously, I need to be stocking up more smokes and paraphernalia. And I'll show you how to do that later. And then when you finally unlock influencers, um, you can have them promote certain things in your shop. And it'll tell you where they're last seen for some of them, like this one's undisclosed. But you want to try to talk to them and they'll tell you what they want. And each time that you give them one, you'll get a thumbs up. So like, let's say for this one I have locked, I need to gain 15% respect to book them. So I would need to give them 15 freebies to get to 15%, if that makes sense. And then you have the Duber reeds or weeds, sorry. Um, this you can pretty much sell in bulk. Um, and you have to drive this RC car through the city and deliver it to the supplier. So it's pretty easy money and it's a good way to get a lot of money quick if you can grow in bulk. That's going to be later on though. And then Twitcher is just if you want to Twitch stream and have your chat um, kind of change the way you play the game. So you can do that. So when you get to be level 8, you're going to be able to get a shelf that you can put down in the store. And you can start selling the merchandise. And that will help with the uh, sellify listing here for paraphernalia. So you'd go into the dope market and you'd want to buy the shelf. I can't remember where it's at actually. I think it's here, displays. You'll get this ghetto shelf and it holds two items. So I would probably get enough to hold seven different items. And then you can come down here to merch and filter bongs. And to sell whatever's most expensive, try to sell seven different ones. Uh, that way you get the max bonus. Like for me, I just go to whatever's most expensive and try to, you know, get as much as I can, but stock seven different things. And then for smokes, you'll want to buy joints, um, doobie papers, joint papers, blunt papers. Um, you'll also need packaging to put out on the shelves. And that's how you get the sellify up for your smoke variety. And I think you need four different things. So if you really wanted to, you could just buy doobies to start off, um, but put different strains in them. So that counts as different uh, smoke variety. Like if you had four different strains, but 
they was all joints and you packaged them as joints, then you would still have variety, I'm pretty sure. So you don't have to make all these other things. Um, but you, you want to, of course, choose what would make you the most money. And then if we look at decorations while we're in here, um, these also give off bonuses. I kind of already showed this earlier, I think. But you can target different types of people and just view, not sell a five, but you can sell, or you can look at Pimp It to see what you're targeting. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, also, when you're very early on, you're going to want to get this rolling table. You won't have this one necessarily, but that's how you package your smokes. And then later on, you can get ones that does it automatically for you. Um, this is for the weed storage. You're going to have to upgrade these every so often to hold more weed. Um, I already went over how you can hire people. Okay, so right here, if I talk to Randy, he says that he is out of gear. So I have him, I'll show you. Um, so they have inventories, right? And you have to keep your employees high in order for them to do a good job, which is this uh, red, you know, kind of like the addiction logo for NPCs. This is how high your staff is. If you put smokes in their inventory that they can smoke, they will actually smoke it themselves when this gets to zero. So you don't have to manually walk up to them and give them something to smoke. Um, so you can actually just put it in their inventory. So where Randy Bobandy is promoting my shop, I have to keep things to attract locals. And as we talked about earlier, locals only like blunts. So I need to give him some blunts, which I don't really think I have a lot of, but we'll give him some blunts. And I'll need to make more later on. So yeah, I'll just give him that for now. And then he can get back to promoting my shop. Now earlier, you know how I was talking about how you could go around these and find money and different things. If you go into the city, you can actually find pots, you can find uh, bongs early game, you can find different various items inside of the city as well. So this will be helpful for very early game. You can kind of come in through here, and do a sweep and get some free merch you don't have to actually pay for. Um, very useful early game, something that I didn't know. I'm going to try to run around the city and you want to look around the benches in the city and you have to go pretty far into the city to even start to see things pop up. Uh, but I'm going to try to find a bench really quick with something there. Like right here, I got a little pothead collectible. She won't have early game. We'll go into that later. Um, so I did find that on that bench, but it doesn't spawn as much here, but here's a bong. I can pick this up, put it in my inventory, and you can go sell it as merch. So it's very useful early on uh, to get merch sales up and keep a good variety. So you just gotta, gotta kind of run around the city. There I found a turd, um, but that's pretty much it. That's about all you do in the city other than the pawn shop. There's also a hotel. Um, there's a lab and different things like that. So I'm actually going to show you how to find all the landmarks of the game now and this will probably be helpful for more of like mid to late game so for the first location your shop is down there and you're going to make your way down here past hell's fargo and then you'll see this place on the left that says hotel you can actually purchase two different rooms here you can purchase one from the dude that works at the gas station and then the other room you can purchase from the dude that works at the uh, pawn shop so you can actually have like a penthouse here if I'm not mistaken. I've actually not unlocked it myself yet, but that is there to kind of have like your own house. Um, you will have to go talk to them. I'll show you their location and they'll tell you about this hotel. And then if you look over here, this is the club that's open every night. Um, you do have to pay a lot to get in as far as like weed goes. And as far as I can see, it's a gentleman's club. So... I don't actually know if there's any reason to go in here, but I'll just tell you right now that it's not worth it from what, I, what I've seen so far. Um, and then if you come over here to the end, there's actually a hospital. So if you die in game, you will spawn over here towards this hospital where this H is. So anytime you die, you spawn here and you get a wheelchair to go around in. Which I can't use these in, unless I die. That's just kind of a fun fact. And now I will show you how to find the pawn shop and the gas station. 
So to find the pawn shop, you'll start down there as your shop. You'll make your way down towards this way to the Muscle Beach location that I was telling you guys about earlier. And then you're going to run down this road where it says pizza. And you can see this blue building says uh, Pwned. It's the pawn shop. So this is the pawn shop of the game. And you can walk in here. And this dude usually sells things. Sometimes it's cheaper. Sometimes it's more expensive. There's even things that you can't buy through the computer like these. <laughs> um, don't really have to explain that. Not really sure. I don't think you can buy this through the clock or through the PC. You can buy this here. He's got a paint bucket, really cheap. But if you talk to him, he will talk to you about buying his penthouse. And then, um, so I'm actually going to say, what about this suite? Because I've found two different little pothead things for him. So yeah, I found some. I have number two. And then I have number one, and he wants four more. So he'll tell you to kind of just look around the city, and that's how I found them. But this is where you find the pawn shop. And then if you go on down the road, you will eventually run into the gas station over on the left-hand side here. So I will show you where that's at. Don't know if this is the fastest way to get to it. Probably should have took a left. Oh, nope, it's right here, right down the road. So this guy will also offer you a different place uh, in the hotel if you want, or you can buy carts from him early game. So you can buy a dog pen, a reefer vape, or a THC extreme pod, um, but you can't sell these in your store yet. So he's just kind of there if you want that um, for yourself. And that's pretty much most of the locations in the game. Now, if you don't want the late game spoiled, um, something that you can unlock that the game doesn't really tell you, You've already seen that you can make vapes and extractors earlier, um, but you can actually purchase a lab and start making hybrid strains. Um, you can also make extracts for vapes, and you can also make like a terpene type thing. So you come over here to the very end of the map, and then you take a right. Um, when you unlock it, you will actually be able to come here, and you will see someone standing here, and you can purchase this lab. So this is all that I have right now is this manual crossbreeding pod. Um, and let me show you which ones I have. So this is a spoiler. I have purple skunk, sour queen, Afghani cheese, and then Hindu gum. And I think that's all. Um, but you can make these here in this lab. And I haven't really made it far enough to give any more insight, but I think that you might be able to buy this. I'm not sure. And then eventually you can get another growing area over here um, in this area so the more you know the more you know you have to buy those I don't have that yet this is the lab and it's on the end of the map something else I want to show you while we're over here is there's a dude that sells paint that usually sits right here he's not actually there I'm not sure why he's not there he's usually there he will sell paint buckets and you can get paint buckets um, as you can see here, and you can kind of use these as like a teleporter. So what you can do is find any bench in the game. So this one I have painted yellow. I could paint it red, and then later on if I wanted to teleport here, I could drink the yellow, <laughs> the yellow paint, which it will hurt you a little bit, but I could drink the yellow paint and it would spawn me over there. I'll show you. Should work. Drink the paint. Dude's all wheezy. And then you teleport at the bench. Easy as that. So pretty cool if you want to teleport certain places. I haven't really used it that like a whole lot. Uh, but that is definitely something that you can do. And that's pretty much going to be it for my beginner tips on the game. Of course, later on, like I said, you will unlock these influencers. And I'll show you. You ask them, do you smoke? And they'll say, hit me up with this certain item. And if you have it, you can give it to them. So this person wants a Hindu Kush blunt, and then I get a thumbs up. So eventually you can make it to where they will work promos for you and help you sell various items. So that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. There's not really much else that I can think of um, as far as you know. I know. Of course, there is late game stuff that I haven't unlocked yet. But if you guys want to see more or you have any other things that I missed and you want to tell me about, because there isn't a lot of information on this game, be sure to leave that below. 
that's going to be it for this video. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.